Hello everyone, in this video we will learn to design a simple calculator in Visual Basic. Open your project window and this is your form. You can drag it and adjust it to according to your requirement. I'll change the caption of my form as calculator and I'll change the background color a light color and I'll change my font size as bold and 18 Now we'll design our form. To design a calculator form, we need one label box for heading and one text box for entering the values and 17 command buttons to enter the controls or one, two, three, like that operators and all we are using, right? That one we have to enter only through the command buttons. So the entire action is performed only with the click event only. So we'll design our form. I'll place a single label for heading purpose. Drag it to your according to your heading size. And place one text box for entering values. And as I said, 17 comment buttons, we need to place it. Make it each and every comment button at the same size so that it looks uh, the appearance good I'll give my clear button little bigger than the normal one so that it comes exact like a calculator. We'll check the size. After placing all the command button, you can adjust your text box size. Now finally I had placed all my commands. Now we'll adjust the text box according to the size of the calculator. Now is it okay? Now we'll change the properties and caption of these commands on text box or on controls. I'll change the label. I'll change the caption as simple calculator. Sorry. Calculator. We'll adjust. 
just this um, heading according to addition that you can change the font style or background color from the properties whatever you have to change to the command or a control buttons you have to change only through these properties only i'll change the background color Fine. Now we'll change the text box property. I'm not going to change the name of the text box. Let it be text one itself. Go to the text and erase that text one so that you can input your numbers. For first command, I'll give it as the name as clear and in caption also i'll give as clear same like for second command i'm not going to change the name i'll change the caption and give as into command into symbol and for third command i'll change the caption and give it as division symbol same like for this I'll give the caption as 7 8 9 and so on 8 here I'll give the subtraction symbol and for this, 4, sorry, caption as 5, same like give for each, give for each and every command. Now we had changed the caption for all the controls. Now, will align the, our calculator will give the border so that it will look good appearance i'll drag this rectangle and assign as of to my calculator size will change the properties of this shape name I'm not going to change I'll change the background color see here the color of this shape is not visible over here the background color so in back style it is zero zero means transparent if you make it as one then only it will be visible. Now see it is visible inside of this shape. Now we will change this border size. Go to border width and make it as 5. Now we will execute and check the outer look of our form. Go to the start button and click it. So this is our outlook. If I click on these commands it's not appearing in my text box so for that we need to enter the code for each and every controls we were pleased in our form now end this and for going command button or for writing the codes for this comments we need to double click on this each and every commands now we will start at the clear button double click on that clear this is your coding window we will give clear as option text1.ext equals to 
empty double quotation so this means whatever text in your text box gets cleared now we'll go to zero we'll start from zero and so on double click on that zero text one dot txt equals to text one dot txt give ampersand symbol and zero copy this text exit and go to one double click paste what you had copied and change this number to one likewise do for each and every control commands For entering each and every coding, have to click on that particular command button so that it the commands. If you press on the command, it will get executed. Now for H, and finally for nine. Now we need to code for this dot to appear the decimal values. Double click on that. You can't type just like a dot because uh, it is a special character and has some special meaning to the visual basics. So you should consider it as a string and put it in the double quotation. Dot close the double quotation. Now you can check it whether the this text will appear in text box or what. Go to the start. And give it a zero. Yeah, it is appearing. Dot one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I give clear, this button, this uh, text should be cleared. So I'll give it clear. Now it is clear. Now we'll give the coding for those operators so that we can perform our calculations. End it. Double click on this. Plus, before uh, typing comments for the operator, we need to declare two variables a and b and one variable for assigning those operators for sign variable. So, select the in object code, you just select the general, it will be on the top and declaration dim a as integer. Enter. sign as string so this statement is used to hold the first part of your calculation that is if I'm performing a plus b means that is 5 plus 8 means 5 should be hold in variable a and the second part that is 8 that will be stored in b variable so the sign variable is used to hold the operator that is plus minus division like that now we'll start coding for our operators double click on that plus and type a equals to text one dot txt enter sign equals to in sing double quotation give plus enter text one dot txt equals to empty double quotation copy this three text and cut it 
now click on the minus symbol and paste your paste your statements what you have copied before so change the operator minus likewise do it for division paste your statement change it as division symbol and go to multiplication paste it here you should not give your cross mark that is x you should give a star because stars calculate the multiplication in computer so this operators we have accepted now we should perform the task for that double click on the equals to symbol now the second part should be assigned so b equals to text one dot txt enter now we have to give conditions like if plus minus like that we have to calculate for different operators for that we need to use nested if condition or select statement whichever control statement is necessary for you you can use it i am going to use the nested if condition statement if sign equals to in quotation plus enter sorry you have to give then then enter text one dot txt equals to a plus b enter else you copy these three statements then after else enter copy your statements and paste it here so you can change the symbols again enter paste your statement change it as division likewise do it for multiplication also entry paste give a star here also star now we have opened one two three four if statement for those four if statement we have to close four if statement enter end if enter end if enter Now we'll check our execution whether there is any error or it's working. One plus one equals to two. Clear. Two minus eight equals to minus six. Clear. Six divided by Two equals to three. Clear. Five into five equals to twenty-five. Now our calculator is working properly. I hope this video will be helpful for you, and you had understood each and every controls and each and every statements we have used. And thanks for watching. Keep supporting. Don't forget to subscri subscribe. Thanks for your patience. Take care.